what's new for SOLIDWORKS 2017. I'm Tim Strange with Go Engineer, and in this video we're going to look at some of the new enhancements to routing that will make your designs easier. First let's open up the options and select routing. There is now an option that allows you to stop SOLIDWORKS from automatically zooming to fit when you place route components. This lets you decide if the option is right for you or not, giving you more control. We need to create a route between the valve and filter assembly and we'll use connection points to start our route. Turn on the connection points in the view menu. If they don't show, do a quick rebuild. Right mouse on the connection point at the filter and choose start route. For this route, we're going to use threaded pipe and fittings, the size being based off the connection point that we started with. We can add the point on the valve in a similar fashion. Right mouse and choose add to route. Once we have both those added to the route, we can simply right mouse, choose auto route, select the two ends. In the property manager, under the orthogonal route option, we have improvements as well. There is a new on-screen manipulator that's accessible with left and right clicks of your mouse. The right clicks cycle between the path options and the left accepts that choice, turning off the manipulator. In the property manager, the paths now have a solution number, making it easier to remember which one you wish to go back to. Clicking in the path box also brings back the on-screen manipulator should you wish to use that again. Once accepted, the route still has some freedom if we drag the route. Instead of a dimension to control the length of the top pipe, let's use a pipe nipple to connect straight to the valve. This will give us an off-the-shelf item, saving the time and expense of cutting a custom pipe. SOLIDWORKS 2017 now comes with and supports five different types of nipples in the design library. Weld, Hose, Hex, Close, and Barrel. Let's use the barrel type. To use a nipple, just drag and drop onto an existing pipe. The nipple splits the pipe like a T or similar fitting. Since we don't need the pipe sections here, let's use right mouse and simply choose remove pipe to have our nipple connect straight to the elbow. During manufacturing, it's often helpful to have an exploded view for clarity. SOLIDWORKS 2017 now fully supports exploded views for pipes and tubes. Use the explode view command like you would for any other assembly and it works in much the same way. Just select your components and move them to a desired location. Once you have all your components positioned to your liking, you can access the exploded view just like other assemblies. Go to the configuration tab and expand your configuration. You can see the explode steps and have the ability to collapse and expand even with animation. Now that the route is done, we need to create another hose assembly, much like the one already created. In the past, you'd have to create another assembly, even if they had the same components in length. SOLIDWORKS 2017 has a new enhancement that allows you to reuse your routes. Simply right mouse the original route and choose Reuse Route. Accept the first screen, and you now have the list of components to place. We'll place the first component on the bottom of the valve. It should snap into place as the mate references are already created in routing fittings. The second component goes to the cylinder on the other side. Once you place the last component, you'll see the new route. Segment lengths are all set to the length of the original, but can have a different path. We know they have the same length and same components with no guesswork. Let's show the bill of materials and we can see the updated quantity. And both the tube routes are highlighted when you select the row in the bill of materials. Let's take a look at another assembly which has an electrical route. This route is considered disjoint as the route has components chained together, not just branches in a harness. Flattening these type of routes was not supported in previous versions. SOLIDWORKS 2017 now supports this, making more design scenarios viable. Let's open the route in its own window and take a look at the flattened configuration. This is flattened with annotation style 
used to show all the components, wire links, and pin connections. Simply open the existing drawing, we can see how SOLIDWORKS 2017 now has all the wire links and components in the bill of materials. This functionality is new for disjoint routes. SOLIDWORKS 2017 introduces many routing enhancements to not only make routing easier, but also enhances your ability to create unique designs.